new signing and an all-rounder, George Atkins. <laughs> Under 23 British Road Race champion, previous winner at the Tour of Korea, a climber and another new signing, Mike Cumming. Oceana Road Race and New Zealand Cycle Classic winner, Kiwi and Domestique, Taylor Gunman. He was second in the King of the Mountains classification at the Tour de Yorkshire, an all-rounder, Rich Hanley. And we've already mentioned him today, fifth at the Tour de Yorkshire last year, one of the most outstanding domestic riders last season, a climbing specialist, Matt Holmes. <laughs> Winner of Ilkley Criterium and heading out to Australia to race for Guernsey at the Commonwealth Games, sprinter Tobin Horton. <laughs> Winner of the British Cycling GP Series title after a dominant and consistent performance, all-rounder Johnny McAvoy. Another exciting new signing for Madison Genes Genesis, a former Four Cross mountain bike champion and now a Neo Pro. He was a Cat 4 rider just two years ago, now signed for Madison Genesis. Please welcome Isaac Mundy. <laughs> Stage winner at the Tour of China, sprinter and prologue specialist from Australia, Neil van der Ploeg. Fourth at Shrewsbury GP last year and a new signing for 2018, all-rounder George Pym. <laughs> now injury and illness, illness may have put an end to his 2017, but he is back now to win bike races this season. He's already finished in the top 10 in the Tour de Yorkshire, a GC rider. Please welcome Eric Roussel. And finally, after a torrid 2016, after a horrific crash, he picked up three wins last year in the Tour Series and at the Leicester Castle Classic. Development rider, Connor Swift. <laughs> and the man tasked with keeping this unruly bunch in order throughout 2018, newly appointed team manager, Colin Sturgis, former World Track Individual Pursuit Champion and National Road Race Champion too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the team of Madison Genesis. <laughs> now hopefully we'll have time for some questions from you guys as well, but I'm going to kick things off by coming over here to talk to uh, Colin about the new team for you, Madison Genesis, welcome to the family. How excited are you to be part of this and what attracted you initially to the team? I've always held Madison Genesis in very high esteem, um, you know, sort of following their progress throughout the years. And um, yeah, last year when Mike started talking to me and then last year I met Dom and Kelly and, um, you know, the chance to take on a UCI Conti team moving up from a smaller British elite team was, you know, it's, it's just a... Yeah, it's, it's fantastic for me um, and to work with a talented bunch of guys that that put in work that are keen and have that ability to take it to the next step is, is yeah it's a dream come true and the goals this year what are your targets uh, to a Yorkshire to a Britain to a series um, I want the boys to get stuck into all the premier calendars um, we'll be taking teams to to a Normandy to a Sibiu in Romania um, obviously over to France and Belgium, Holland, um, so pretty mixed program, um, but you know, we want to we want to give the domestic domestic sort of scene a good nudge as well, uh, get some points on the board um, and you know, show what we can do. And any changes you're hoping to make? What impact are you looking to have? Um, subtle ones at start, um, you know, I'm, I come from a background of, um, of winning bike races. Um, and um, you know, I want to I want to instill that into the guys. Um, so yeah, just just subtle changes here and there. And as I say, just instill um, just that, that ethos of, of you know racing to win. Absolutely. Well, welcome, Colin. Thank you very much to you. Um, I'm now going to chat to Isaac as well. 
because um, we, we spoke just earlier on about how you're a new signing to the team here and just two years ago racing Cat 4 races and now here you are ready to race both domestically and internationally. How much does this mean to you? Well, I mean, not quite a lot, obviously. I suppose like it, it's a big step up um, just to go from being those races and trading around like not having any responsibility uh, to going there with a the role and duty to everyone else and but also having that support of people around me is going to make a big difference um, and just it then becoming what you're doing the whole time I think and I'm not just trying to make it work myself um, is yeah, it's an interesting mindset shift from bike riding because I've been you know, racing a bike for 12, 13 years, but never it being my primary focus, really, or you're at school or you're at uni, or you're working, whatever. Um, so to have the opportunity for it to be my, you know, full commitment to this is really privileged. Um, yeah, so it's, it's all you know. And we can't underestimate how, how tough bike racing at this level is. We know you've been racing already 12, 13 years, but how much do you have to learn here? quite a lot um, yeah just the way because obviously bike, like road racing is a team sport and like the way you can read a race in reference to other people and like just being aware of who else is around and that sort of thing is something I want to develop a lot more because I haven't really been doing it in that that way um, and and just having people around to ask things you know and like Instead of just driving up on your own and sitting there and doing your numbers and like, um, it's definitely a lot to pick up on. But I'm quite looking forward to also kind of figuring out what I can bring to the team. And like, I, because I was doing it on my own, I've kind of what I mean here, but like feel as though I sort of had to figure it out on my own, so I can then. I think you've got a lot to think about this season, haven't you? <laughs> Thank you very much, Isaac. Welcome to the team. Johnny, we'll, we'll chat to you now. Um, a great year for you last year um, with the overall title in the Grand Prix series. How much did that mean to you? And also, we talk about you winning it, but how much was that actually a team effort? It was massive team effort. And I think that's something that comes with racing, like Colin saying, racing every, every race for the win. And it, it was massively, it was me that won it at the end, but Connor won the last race and even the race you don't think like Tour Reservoir, all the lads. We we worked, yeah, we massively worked together to win each try to win each race and then that come at the end of the with a title, so it was good it was a good bonus. Yeah. And for you the, the goals this year, obviously you've got a strong twenty seventeen now to back up and hopefully build on as well. Yeah, definitely, yeah. The, we've got the programme of races through, we've got some new new riders, obviously Collins coming. So we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we've done the first camp and it's like it was last year, everything's a great setup. Kit, bikes, all good, and we're re we're ready to go and excited. And how have the new riders gelled and, and meshed together here? Um, I only met Neil the other day, Australian Neil. But um, yeah, everyone seems to get on. The first camp it was great. I don't know about you, yeah, he's uh, tired. No, he's um, yeah, no, it was it's good. Everyone's like last year. That's a big part of it off the bike as well. Just spend that much time could be best part of seven months together, really traveling and out and. It was a good laugh off the bike, everyone gets on and it, it's definitely going to be the same again this year so everyone's, everyone's on the same page and ready to go. Yeah, happy team wins bike races. Tobin, we'll move on to you as well. Um, for you, I guess, you just need to get out there for the Commonwealth Games as well. How much of your early season is focused on that? Um, you know, I'm going to go into each race, you know, like, uh, like normal really. You know, we're going there to win, whether it be for well, whoever we're riding for and obviously the, the Commonwealth Games is actually falling at a pretty good time in that I'm not missing much in the, on the UK side of things that would really suit me and, and you know I'd, I'd be much used to the team in a sense with some of the lumpier races so it's, it's obviously exciting to have that to focus on and, and then come back and, and, and carry on you know we've got Tour de Yorkshire and Tour Series shortly after to look forward to so um, yeah. So moving on for you looking beyond Australia what are the main targets that you're looking for this year to really make an impact? 
Um, I mean, like like Colin said, you know, all, all the British races are, you know, being a, a British team, they're they're so important for us. Um, and and for me personally, the you know the likes of the the Tour Series, obviously the uh, you know the, sort of my bread and butter. Um, but then it, you know to go to the likes of Tour de Yorkshire and, and and Tour of Britain later on in the season would be fantastic. Uh, Just how important are those those events? They're, they're massive international races. How important are they for a domestic team like you guys to really show yourselves? Um, I mean, like like you said, because they're you know internationally well viewed internationally, and they are sort of the the highlights of the the British domestic calendar. Um, you know, they're they're massive for us um, and and for the team and and for the sponsors as well. Um, so you know, to to have people in the breakaway to have Eric finish eighth and, and Matt Holmes finish fifth overall as a you know a, a pretty small team in, in such a big race is, is incredible you know I think we really go there and punch above our weight so you know I think that's shows the you know the standard we can race at and and how important it is to us that we really you know give everything for it and you certainly have been involved in plenty of breakaways as a team as well so really animating the races will now